Hi everyone and welcome back to The Happy Heart. I'm so glad that you guys came back today for another fun recipe. Tonight I'm actually having a small group um, for church and I'm doing some desserts, but I was trying to do some quick and easy desserts because if you can tell in my voice, I am not feeling the best and I just have like a sore throat and a cold. So I thought, what can I do that's quick and easy? And these candied pecans came to mind. So. I'll show you guys how it goes. Disclaimer though, I have never made these pecans before. I've only had them at my girlfriend's house over Christmas and they were super good. So she sent me the recipe via Facebook and I'll leave it in the description box below so you guys can um, see which recipe I'm using. But I'm hoping they turn out good. All right guys, per the recipe, you need one cup of pecans, a half a cup of brown sugar, and cinnamon and salt, all coming to a fourth of a teaspoon. You put it all in here over the stove, let it bubble up, and we'll see what happens. This recipe also calls for two tablespoons of water. So I have my brown sugar, salt, and cinnamon. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in and kind of stir it around. I'm really looking for it to be more of like a glaze from what I understand. Okay guys, it says to put this over medium high heat until the mixture is melted and bubbling. So I guess it's starting to bubble, but it combines really easily, so that's a good sign. So we'll just wait for it to bubble a little bit more. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I guess we're good. Okay guys, so I added my pecans. I added the whole bag. I added 16 ounces, which was one pound. Um, the original recipe says to add one cup, which would be about half my bag, which was eight ounces. Um, but I was doubling the recipe. It says to let them cook for about three minutes and to stir frequently. Once my three minutes was up, I actually just dumped them on this cookie sheet, spread them out a little bit, and I'm just gonna let them cool. And it says to break apart when they're cooled completely. So I don't know exactly how long that will take, but I will let you guys know. My pecans took, I would say about an hour to actually cool completely. And then I just took them off the wax paper and broke them apart. It actually said to use parchment paper, and I think that would have been a little bit easier, but whatever you have will really work. As you can see, I paired this on a three-tier platter with just some boxed simple brownies and some frozen cookie dough that I baked up, and it was a hit dessert. People thought I spent hours doing it. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out tonight. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time I put up a brand new video of fun, yummy stuff like this. I will see you guys next time. Have a nice night.